Hey everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the fig cuttings just for a moment here. And we're going to be dispelling, I think, what I believe to be a myth in the fig community. And, and uh, the myth is that some varieties are harder to root than others. And I think that could be, there could be some truth to that, but I don't think it's totally correct. Um, you can see right in front of me here, let me give you a good example of this. Here's Black Madeira KK. Beautiful leaves, beautiful plant, very healthy. And I have about six of them, all leafing out now. Um, the only guy that hasn't leafed out yet is this one right here, this guy here. But I have six of them. You can see, again, here's them all labeled Black Madeira KK on the side of the pot. And uh, they're just doing phenomenal. In fact, very few plants that I have even have such large leaves, large, strong leaves at this point. Here's another one right here. I mean, that's incredible. You know for sure you're doing something right when you've got leaves that look like this. So for me, I don't really think it's the variety. I, I believe that it has to do with the environment that you're growing these fig cuttings in. Um, you know, certain varieties have adapted to certain climates and I think certain varieties just need maybe a little bit more temperature. I don't think it's really the water. It could be the water. Maybe try adding a little bit of moisture in the pot, you know, but uh, I think it has a lot to do with the temperature. And in this closet, it's quite blazing in here. It is uh, 78 degrees in here currently, and this thing fluctuates between about 76 degrees and 82 degrees. Um, you don't want to get too hot though, right? I recommend staying in between 70 and 80 degrees, but I think 75 is a pretty noticeable difference between 70. And if you get over 80, then you could really lead into a, a higher chance of rot. So if you have a variety that's struggling just a little bit, you think it's not really working out for you, try increasing the temperature. Add a heat mat, maybe have more lights in here. You know, maybe if you can do it like I, I do and I can close this door and trap a lot of that heat in this closet and keep it in here. Um, if I close the door, it could probably get to about 86 as it currently is in here, which is pretty nuts. And that's exactly what I will be doing once a lot of these guys have put out roots. Uh, the chance of rot is gone and I can just let these things go nuts. Um, another variety, in case you're not convinced, this is Italian 258. And look at that, that looks pretty good for such a short time that these guys have even been in their pots. Here's another one here, and there's another one there. Um, I have about seven of them in this closet, pretty much scattered around. Here's another Italian 258 right here. See that, Italian 258 on the pot. And I, I uh, haven't found them all, but I bet you that the majority of them, of the seven, are doing just as well as my Black Madeira KKs here. So again, I don't think it's the variety, I think it has to do with the environment. The last thing I wanna leave you guys with is that we did a video about a month ago on a tree that I had cut. We had a tree that we brought inside from, uh, we kept it away from the cold, we overwintered it in this closet, and then I made a cut on that tree took that hard growth off of that tree and stuck it in a pot. And that's exactly what this is. This is called Nero del Cisternino. It's an Italian variety. And look, it's already leafing out. We did this probably about a month ago, this video. It was titled, A Little Trick for Rooting Fig Cuttings. And this is what we did. And look, it's, it's already showing some nice growth and progress. And this is the mother tree up here, here is Nero del Cisternino, and it's already, you can see the cut we made right here, and it's already put out a new shoot that has four or five really nicely sized leaves on it, and is growing phenomenally. So that little trick that we did certainly worked. The, the tree has sprung into action, the mother tree, and now a little offshoot here is growing quite nicely as well. So. Anyway guys, hopefully you got something out of this video. We dispelled that myth for you and you're having good success rooting your fig cuttings. More to come from the, uh, the grow closet over the winter time. 
Thank you so much for watching. Take care.